All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Wanted to do a little shop update. Kind of had to stop on Jace's new Super Sport roof project. You can see those videos categorized on my channel there, so be sure to check those out. We'll be getting back on his car real soon. Fella here locally that I had started on his car about a year ago, this was a situation where the guy, the, the work that was done to the car already was pretty good quality it just the guy got older and then the car set for like seven or eight years finally i was able to work it in and get the jams and the uh, rear two-tone roof and all that painted so what this is going to be is hugger orange with pearl what i wanted to show you on this thing was basically about as good as you can possibly get a car especially a shoebox chevy with just strictly adjusting and adjusting and adjusting without bringing out the welder, without bringing out the grinder, without bringing out the pry bars and all that. Just some slight tugging, pulling, adjusting, jacking with a jack, shimming. And this is about what you're going to end up with. So until the internet started to be overrun by everybody thinking they needed perfect gaps on everything this is pretty much what you had so i'm pretty happy with the way this turned out again could these gaps be a little better sure they could but you can't get them any better than this without adding metal taking metal away so on and so forth so same thing with this hood gap here you know these shoebox chevys had a little wider hood gap the hood gap the hood is actually not latched i've got it bungeed till i get the rest of the parts and get the car painted so basically now we've got it adjusted all the glass looks vertically correct it was that sitting crooked and not straight so i was able to work a lot of this back out and made sure we have a gap at the bottom of the rocker panel these doors look good but then they were hitting so uh anyway just wanted to show you the 55 Chevy. It's a Bel Air Tudor hardtop. And uh, it's going to be a pretty nice car. I'll show you under the hood. And uh, got a lot of chrome here. The guy's going to have a real nice car. A little too much chrome for my liking, but hey, you know, it's whatever everybody wants. A fellow here in town did all this engine work, did all this suspension and all. I actually got under it, detailed the frame, floorboards, new bushings, all that stuff about a year ago. So, got a cut and buffed under hood area here. So, that's going to look real nice. Again, a little, if it was my personal car, I wouldn't go this far. But, hey, like I said, it's what everybody wants, each their own. But what I mainly wanted to show you in this video was just how well you really can get gaps just by some time experience and just you know concentrating focusing you can get these gaps pretty good are they perfect no they're not they'll never be perfect but overall you can get them pretty nice so the other thing is these trunk gaps on these cars left a lot to be desired too but overall you know not bad so you know if i had have actually personally done this car from the ground up and started i would have worked on these gaps a little more and got them a little better but again since the video is about gaps i'll show you the gaps on this mustang this mustang's had quarters put in it and i spent a lot of time on these gaps and they are just about just you know there's no, you know, everything's even from panel to panel. Height, width, depth, it's all it's all even. So you can get gaps totally perfect, but it takes time and it takes effort, of which most people are never going to notice anyway. I've actually started to spend more time on gaps as time's went along. I'm doing that right now on my car here. And this, these doors had to be replaced from here down. So I had to do some grinding here to get that gap opened up. But up at the top here, this is strictly adjustment. 
And I'm real happy with how that turned out. I thought I was going to, have to add some metal to that and ended up I'm not going to. Still got to get the hinge in the door. So just wanted to kind of do a gap video. A lot of times this is something that's not talked about. It's something that's important, but it's more important on other cars, some cars than others. So, so you see where I need to still do a little work here on the edge. You got a good gap coming down here and then it gets wide right here. So I'm going to add a little filler right there on that edge to tighten that gap up. And another thing I've talked about in the past, and this, this goes without mentioning, but it should be common sense, but I don't think it is. People can get so wrapped up in perfection, you forget about function. So when you've got these tight 16th of an inch gaps on your car and the doors open and shut, nothing hits, that's fine sitting at a car show. But what's gonna happen is when you ride on our South Carolina roads that they never fix and you hit that big old pothole when you pull out of your driveway, blam! Well, guess what? The whole car flexes these gaps move, suspension works, clunk, and the car moves, and you chip your paint. So remember, function over fit. If you're going to drive your car, leave the gaps a little wider. Make sure, and that's something i got to look at here. I would say no tighter than this. And I may end up having to open this up a little bit, but no tighter than this Mustang. Of course, right there needs a little adjustment. You don't want anything tighter than that for the road. If you're gonna build an all out show car that's never driven, that's different, but still. You know, the car's gonna be hauled in a box. Still gonna move around a little bit. So just use common sense on gaps. So anyway, that's all for this video. If you're interested in restoration work, the contact information will be in my video description. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Channel's grown real well the last several years, so appreciate all y'all for watching. And that's it.